It's a simple, effective and environmentally friendly way of powering cars. On-site renewable electricity is used to split water into its constituents, hydrogen and oxygen, producing power. The car is running right now, so it is completely silent. Uh, there's nothing really to hear in here. Um, it, it's basically, as we speak, it's using hydrogen to make electricity, and the electricity goes through and powers the car, like an electric car, except in this case, we've got long range and very quick refueling. Push it onto the leaks. Unlike a battery electric vehicle, refueling is as quick as filling your car up with petrol, and the range before refueling is over 600 kilometres. I hope and I have a vision that as you turn up at a fuel station one day, you'll, you'll be seeing um, petrol, diesel uh, and hydrogen at that pump. And like other fuels, it's safe if managed properly. There's no reason to think of hydrogen as any more dangerous than any other fuel. The station will initially be used mainly to power a fleet of 20 Hyundai cars run by the ACT government. This is a beginning, the first publicly accessible hydrogen refuelling station in Australia. But the partners here hope that more and more people will take up hydrogen as a fuel source, leading to more stations across the country and driving down the price. This is a starting point. There's actually very few hydrogen vehicles in Australia at this point, compared to overseas where in Korea last year they sold more than 10,000. These are literally the first 20 hydrogen vehicles registered in Australia. We're going to be using it for transport in cars, in trucks, in trains, in ships. Hydrogen is going to be part of our future economy and this today is the beginning of the future economy. A future economy that is cost effective and importantly free of carbon emissions. Gordon Taylor, ABC News, Canberra.